on strike three. Baylor's gone for the second time. That ball right on the outside corner, and Baylor's going to have a little word with Tim McClellan behind the plate. Rice out. Rice. Well, that would be the first indication. I mean, he sprung out of that dugout with a complaint. Baylor had the biggest gripe so far this inning on the strike three. I thought it might have been done, but uh... on this evening for Baylor, top of the sixth. Reed at the plate again looks like a strike thrown by Scott Fredrickson. Greg Bonet, the home plate umpire, says it's a ball, and Baylor gets the first ejection in Rocky history. Gone. But there was one more bright moment that Baylor had to watch from the clubhouse TV. Martinez decides to plunk Charlie Hayes, and yes, the festivities begin. And I mean, see, look at Ramon. He's smart. He's a string bean. Of course he's running away from Hayes. Hayes had to be restrained by Eric Gregg. As a matter of fact, everyone had to be restrained by Eric Gregg. Look at Strawberry. I thought he had a bad back. Hayes thrown out, so was Martinez there. The next batter, Keith Shepard, decides to clock Corey Snyder and then dares to say, come on, Corey, come on, come on and get me. Come on, come on. You've got to be kidding, Keith Shepard. But here he comes, and yes, here comes Darrell back in there, bad back and all. It's a good thing you go to therapy. That's bad back therapy. Anyway, here we go. Shepard thrown out. Don Baylor had to be thrown out for the second straight game. What a great game baseball. Stadium. Don Baylor, while exchanging the lineup cards, got into it with Charlie Williams, who is the umpire at third. And it is under our impression that Don Baylor has been thrown from the ball game before the game has even started. And this is how it got started. And this was right at home play. The other umpires, of course, just watching. And this stems from a play uh, Wednesday night where Charlie Williams made a very controversial call that cost the Rockies a tying run against the Atlanta Braves. And I'll tell you something. If you can read lips, you're not going to invite Charlie Williams to your holy name meeting. Valdez in the seventh. Joe Girardi. It looks like a 4-6-3 double play. But did Eric Carroll get his foot down in time? I don't think so. Don Baylor didn't think so. Wally Bell did think so. Gone. It's into a double Dodgers win it. Or it's 2 nothing. Notes with a sprained right thumb. And Joe Girardi looks at call strike three. Tells Mike Winters I don't like it. He's gone. So the Rockies down to their third catcher. Braves trail 1 nothing. And the bases are loaded. Ryan Klesko. Base knock. Brings in Marquise Grissom. But then it starts to get interesting. Chipper Jones heading home. Did he get touched? No. Did he touch home plate? Mm, no. Chipper, chipper, chipper says, I better go back there. Well, Don Baylor comes out to argue. He wants to know if Rich Riker called safe on the play, even though Jones hadn't touched home play. You look at it again, and it looks like the home plate ump has signaled safe. Or is it a motion for stoppage of play? Rockies came unraveled after the play. Is that safe or stoppage of play? 4-1 the final. His own cost. That's exactly what Traxel did there. Second homer of his career. Cubs up 4-2. Cubs up 7-4 now. Walker, the tying run. And Oev Gantravers, he doesn't like the call against Heredia. And Walker gets the heave ho. Don Baylor comes out to argue, and he too gets thrown out. And now Don Baylor out to argue. What in the world is he arguing about? I think someone might have been run from the ball game, and if so, Cubs already have lost Damon Buford from this game. Now, come on, argue balls and strikes. It's grounds for automatic ejection. I don't know if anybody was run. After Matthews was called out on strikes. Now Renee Latchman over talking to Baylor and Don walks out. It starts to head for the tunnel, so he might have been thrown out arguing as Matthews was called out on strikes. And